What are you, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Loikos, and recently I finished Elden Ring Shadow of the Erdry. And at this point, I decided to head into New Game Plus because I wanted to get through Shadow of the Erdry again to see what it was like in New Game Plus. Now, I am not super skilled at Elden Ring. I struggled quite a bit in the DLC, but I used a really good build and took advantage of everything that I could. If you're struggling with the DLC, I highly recommend, of course, that you get a good build, but equally as important, make sure you upgrade your blessings, especially the Skidoo Tree Blessings. Those blessings make a huge difference in the DLC. I actually really enjoyed going around finding the blessings because it encourages you to explore and discover everything that this amazing DLC has to offer. And believe me, if I can get through the DLC, pretty much anybody can get through the DLC. So when I first entered Shadow of the Erd Tree in New Game Plus, one thing that I noticed right away was that when I rest at the Grace, I noticed that I kept all of my blessings from my first playthrough. Now I won't go into too many details just in case there's people watching the video that don't want spoilers, but be warned that I will be showing a couple of boss fights. First of all, I'm going to show this very early optional boss. This guy drops some really good armor, but he is actually a pretty tough fight, especially early on. Now if you haven't played the DLC before, you will find that this guy is pretty tough. And if you're having trouble with him, make sure you get out there and explore a bit and find some blessings. Your first couple of blessings should be pretty easy to find. Also, if you look it up on Google, you will be able to find a map that will show you where every single blessing is in the DLC. And I really can't stress enough the importance of getting these blessings because they make you a lot more powerful. They make you do more damage and take less damage. Now, since I had my blessings from my first playthrough, I actually found that the bosses were a fair bit easier. I was able to take down this knight on my first try, whereas on my first playthrough it took a few tries. But as with any Elden Ring boss, it becomes much easier the more you learn the fight. Most of the fights in the DLC, even though most of them are quite challenging, there's only one that I personally think is a bit unfair, and that's the final boss. Now I won't spoil anything about them, but just be prepared when you get there, this is going to be a really tough fight. And the more blessings you have, the better chance you're going to have of beating them. Now on the topic of blessings, in New Game Plus, all of the blessings will actually be respawned and you will be able to pick all of them up again. This means if you got quite a few on your first playthrough, you should be able to max it out at 20 pretty quickly. And if you max out your Skidoo Tree Blessings, you will be taking 40% less damage and doing 80% more. Even though New Game Plus is more challenging, you can completely offset this by having a good build and making sure to get a lot of Blessings. As you can plainly see here, I am not the best at Elden Ring, but I'm still pushing my way through, even in New Game Plus. And if I can do it, you can definitely do it too. Hit that like button if you want to help out the video. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, play where you're at, not come where you're to. Later everyone.